Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing a cool colored alcohol ink and resin bowl. And I am using primarily Ranger alcohol inks. I'm using kind of peacock colors here. So a few different blues, uh, a teal, and a couple of purples. And these are all Ranger. I find that that works best for this technique. And this is on a flower silicone mold that is approximately 14 inches wide. And I like to start from the middle and go out to the sides. I think it gives the best look. With this, you do need to be careful not to use too much alcohol ink or you could have some curing issues. So you can probably see here, I'm just using a very little amount of each color. The colors that I'm sprinkling on the end here are actually metallic. And then I wanted to add a little more dark towards the center. And then in the center, I use white and gold. And these are actually not Ranger, they're Pinata. They're the only Pinata inks I'm using here. The rest are Ranger. And I put some in the middle and then a little bit on, on the sides as well. How you do your design, totally up to you. I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. And you want to have your resin mixed up and ready to go before you start your alcohol ink design because you want to pour it immediately after you're done with your design while that alcohol ink is still wet. I start in the middle and I pour very slowly so that it pushes those inks out. I give it a little time to settle. Remember resin self-leveling. So you don't want to add too much resin. So I let it settle for a little bit and then I will go ahead and add more. In this mold, I'm using about 12 ounces of resin. I am not filling it up all the way. I'm only filling it up about halfway. If you fill it up all the way, your bowl will be too thick and it'll be difficult to mold into a bowl. Um, if you want to make it into a tray, absolutely fill it up all the way. As I'm going on this technique, I typically spray it a couple times with some 91% isopropyl alcohol. This helps with a couple things. One, it gets rid of the air bubbles, and two, it actually helps that resin to flow. Do not overdo it on this, just a little bit, and then after you're done with your project, spray it yet again. You don't want to use torches on silicone molds because it will actually damage them. Then you're going to let it sit for about six hours. How long you wait is actually dependent upon one, the resin you're using and two, the temperature in your workspace. Sometimes I actually end up waiting more like seven or eight hours, depending if it's colder. Um, and if it's warmer, I might wait even less. When you demold it, you want it to be not sticky at all. It should demold pretty easily, but be nice and flexible. And here I'm using a plastic bowl. It's about a hundred ounces. This one I actually got from Bed Bath & Beyond, but you can get some from Amazon or other places. And you're gonna mold this however you want, whether you want, you know, really wild sides or a little more subdued, just push it down as much as you can and mold it however you'd like. And once you're done, I like to weigh it down with a bottle of resin or something else. I put a silicone mat in here just to, help protect it in between. And then you're going to just let it fully cure. So this is the next day. I take that silicone mat and the resin out and then gently pull up on the sides as I rotate it and it should pop right out. I don't use any mold release or anything like that, but you absolutely can if you'd like. And here you have your bowl. It's really, really pretty. I love the colors on this super happy with this one on both sides i think it is drop dead gorgeous so of course use any colors you want i find ranger inks work the best but try different ones have fun with it and um hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think down in the comments if you have any other color suggestions for this technique let me know and i'll see you all next time 